these are some pretty ridiculous little cheater rows. Where the hell did they even nail on this? Oh, they nailed high on this side anyway. But my God, that is brutal. Here's how we're gonna show you how to not have a cheater row like that. All right. Is it a real good picture? It's fucking awesome. All with right. uh, you got Boy Cub right there chilling and everything, and the right. sun's fucking beaming in. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Get it. What's up, YouTube? This is Zach with Veteran Construction. We've got these two dormers to go around today, so I'm gonna be showing you guys a trick that I learned from someone else on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to snap lines. Um, you're gonna wanna know your shingle, right? We've got a five and five eighths exposure on a shingle that's 13 and a quarter long. All right, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit from the way that I've seen other people do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna have to burn an inch for our starter right where our shingle goes like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're just gonna pull up and subtract an inch. So it was 13 and a quarter. I'm just gonna mark 12 and a quarter, right? Maybe 12 and 3 eighths, so I'm not quite an inch of the ground. So we're gonna go do that on the other side, which I've actually already done, so skip that. Let's just do it here in the middle so that we've got a straight line to go off. Now we've got a mark to pull from, so we'll just snap that and then we'll have an easy line to pull from. Nice. Snap, Ben. All right. Now we'll use that line to pull from. So our exposure is five and five eighths. So we can go ahead, the way I've seen it done is we can mark 11 all the way up. It'd be 11, 22, 33, 44. Um, I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna add a quarter inch to those numbers every time, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 11 and a quarter. And then when I get up to this part, I gotta use a different thing. I got a little piece of shingle and this will mark it up. So I'll do 22 and a half. Then I'll go 33, three quarter. And then instead of 44, I'm just gonna mark 45. And then boy can come up here and hold me on that. Last one. We'll keep the, keep the numbers going nice and easy. The math would be easier to do it just all at 11, but the problem I have with that, it just drops our exposure too much. So, and we're gonna do this all the way up and on both sides. All right, we got all these lines snapped. A little tough to see the light blue on the felt, but they're all there, every other one. He's gonna snap his line for our starter now, and we're ready to roll. We were, um, we're about an inch off from the ridge, from the ridge down to our top line here. It's weird though. We stopped there because we had to check it. This one's about two and a half inches above the ridge here. What? But this one is right on the point of the ridge. But when we checked I it from right now. I was just start that ridge, still lines. we're off only an inch. I don't know. So that's not too bad. But we're gonna stop there and see if we can do it any better once we uh, get past that point. Sawdusty. You don't do nothing. I didn't fucking do anything. This thing's a lifesaver. Well, yeah, that plywood is high. Anyway, I screwed up, of course, like I always do. So let's find out why. So we snapped all these lines on that roof, obviously. When I put my piece in, it came out like this. And uh, I was on the line over there, but we hadn't snapped the lines across. So I was just putting my shingles up to it, expecting I was straight, but the shingles. Uh, the way that it came off, it's weird between these two. 
because that one's higher that ridge out on that dormer is higher than this one and then we're like perfect on the ridge so i got confused i should have snapped lines so the problem is i didn't do my back down so what i did was i slid some shingles under here and i figured out the reveals and whatnot and we got these lines snapped chop this off even more and then I'm gonna bury bury the next one in the valley it'll be a little cleaner if I cut the valley side I know. Sometimes things just fall into place. that is right on the lines Jesus Christ. Damn. <laughs> oh, I almost fell, man. We need uh, to restrap in those harnesses for you. Oh, Was that the one? Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how you fix your own fuck up. Alright, so that's how that works out there. They're at different heights because we're we're totally good on the ridge. We didn't even snap lines through all of this. We just went for it. And you can see it, we're pretty perfect on the ridge. Boy Cub actually had to tear off that top row though to uh, cut his ridge vent in, but yeah. Now we're all straight. So this is how you guys are gonna match up around dormers like this. You can snap lines. Honestly, it might've been easier for us just to do the 11, 22, all that stuff. Either that or have somebody with a calculator because the 11 and a quarter, it all worked out perfect. It worked out perfect. My guys were just doing stuff stupid, getting ahead of themselves. But if he had just done 11 and a quarter, you know, plus itself, and then just kept it in equals, we could have had a, you know, had a number all the way up instead of having to pull from multiple marks, making it real easy to get off, you know. If we just had one mark down there and pulled and did the math and then had our numbers all the way up over to here, it would have been a little easier. All right, thanks everybody for watching.